Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how many hardwired zones there are on a Quoxus IQ Panel 2 or even an IQ Panel 2 Plus. So uh, the quick and easy answer to that, the Quoxus IQ Panel 2 and the IQ Panel 2 Plus both have two built-in hardwired zones and that can actually be found on the very back of your IQ 2 Plus. So I have one here and uh, if you see it on the back here, I'm going to go ahead and get a zoom in. Uh, yours should have a sticker on it. And on that sticker, you're going to see that it says the 5 VDC in GND and then sensor 1 GND, sensor 2 GND. That's going to be for your hardwired sensor 1 in the ground and sensor 2 in the ground. So those four terminals right underneath that little kind of like... Uh, that's like an orange and black. Those are your positive and negative. And then you have your sensor one, your ground, sensor two, and your ground. Um, now, those are going to be where you're hardwiring your two hardwired sensors into. And that's if you plan on using the built in hardwired zones. Normally, people, what they do is they get the 16F, which is a Quosis wired to wireless converter, and it sends the encrypted signal. Uh, through the S-Line encryption. Um, but if you just have one or two sensors, then yes, it would make sense if they're hardwired to just wire them directly to the back of the IQ Panel 2 or the IQ Panel 2 Plus. Now, do make sure that the sensors you use for the built-in hardwired zones on your panel, they have to be normally closed devices. They have to use a 4.7K resistor, which it, the resistor is, does not actually come with the system and uh, the resistors uh, actually they do come with the 16F so I'm going to go ahead and grab out the ones that come with the 16F to make sure that you're using the correct resistor you need to make sure you're looking at the color bands so here I have a zoom in of my resistor and you should see a um, a yellow violet red and gold color on that resistor that's how you know you're using a 4.7k resistor now this little pack here that i have in my hand this is the one that came with the 16f which is the wired to wireless converter for the iq panel 2 or the iq panel 2 plus that has a 319.5 legacy daughter board card built into it all right um now those same resistors Making sure you have the same color band scheme on your resistor, you need to make sure you're using that resistor in series if you're connecting a door or window or normally closed contact to your IQ Panel 2 Plus um, or to your IQ Panel 2. Now, I said door and window because normally that is what normally closed devices are. They're door, windows, um, those are usually the sensors that you're going to want to use for this for the terminals that are behind uh, on the actual IQ panel too. Um, so just going off of that, right? The way that if you do wire in, does the, if you do wire in the sensors into the zone one and the zone two on the actual panel, you need to make sure when you're actually programming them in, you put the panel into auto learn mode you run over to the door, you open and you close it so that it picks up on the signal and so that it shorts the panel as well. And then you can automatically program the sensor in. So it does require the auto learning uh, feature um, in order to program in the zone one and zone two on the hardwire. Now, these hardwired zones on the IQ panel two, they do not count towards your total max amount of zones, which are 128, which are actually wireless, right? So these are two built-in onboard zones that you can use that will not count towards your 128 wireless zones that you can have. Now, moving on to the other wired to wireless converters now. Let's say you have more than two wired zones um, or you want to add wired zones instead of having everything run wirelessly um, or having to worry about batteries. Some people, what they like to do is they get this wireless system, they buy a whole bunch of wired zones that way they don't have to worry about batteries, but then they'll get the 16F. This 16F is the uh, the only wire to wireless converter Quoxus has right now. They used to make an 8, 8S and a 16S as in SAM, um, but they stopped making those and they have the 16F now. If you need multiple 16Fs, there is a, uh, um, 
a wire to wire. There's a metal enclosure for the 16F with which can actually house two 16Fs very neatly organized, has enough space for the two backup batteries because these do need a backup battery and they come with their own power supply. So if you get two of them, make sure you get the enclosure for a really nice setup. If you're just using one, that's fine as well. Um, you know, the system itself does have its own enclosure. Yeah, so it's not just like a board that you're posting up on your wall. It's an actual enclosure you can mount. Give me one second. <clears throat> so like I said, the 16F, this one will work great if you guys have a normal IQ2 or if you guys are using the IQ2 Plus. Uh, the 16F transmits at a 319.5 megahertz signal and it's S-line encrypted. So that means you just need to make sure you have the S-line, or I'm sorry, the 319.5 flavor of the IQ2 Plus if you guys have that panel. Now, what happens if you guys have a different version of the IQ2 Plus? First, let's say the 345 megahertz version. Uh, well, that 345 megahertz version actually has its own converter. Um, uh, you can use, since it's 345, you can use the Honeywell one, which is called the 5800C2W. And you can use the 2 gig one, which again is also 345, and that's called the 2 gig uh, Take 345, yeah? Um, now, the 2 gig Take 345 is 8 zones, and the 5800C2W is 9 zones. Now, the one important thing to take from this is the 16F, this one does 16 zones, hence the name 16F. But the other cool thing about this one, this is the only wire to wireless converter out on the market right now that will actually take over two wire smoke detectors. All right, um, so if you have two wire smoke detectors, those will actually learn into zone 16, into the zone terminal 16 of this panel. Now keep in mind when you guys are using wire to wireless converters, every zone that you use on that converter counts as one zone on your panel. Right, so some people may have um, some people may have an existing wired system, and you may have your whole second floor's sensors all wired in series to one zone on your old wired panel. The cool thing about these dev devices is if you want to split out the wiring, that way you now have bedroom one, second floor, bedroom two, second floor, window second floor, motion second floor you can split apart the wiring it will take a little bit of work if they're wired all in series right now so you will have to fix the wiring to accommodate that but you can actually spread them out individually and have them go to their own specific zone that way it's not just reporting second floor and you're not knowing which zone actually is going off um, the 16f so you guys know it the the 16th zone is used for the two wire smoke detectors uh, However, you can still use that 16 zone for a normal Berg. Now the 16F, again, it uses the 4.7K resistors. The 5800C2Ws and the 2 gig Take 345s also use resistors as well. Um, the, they, those are a different value. You'd have to, we'd have to check the manual before you go ahead and start doing that. But usually they come with the resistors already that you'll need. 16F comes with the resistors you'll need. So does the 5800C2W and the 2 gig take 345. The only one that doesn't come with the resistors is if you're planning on using the terminals behind the actual IQ2 or the IQ2 Plus. Those you will need to go out and find the resistor value, which you just want to make sure you're looking at the color band. The color bands, which again were yellow, violet, uh, yellow, violet, red, and gold. Yeah. Um, so that is pretty much how you. Uh, well, those are pretty much the two hardwired zones in the IQ panel too. If you have more than two hardwired zones, you may want to think about getting a wire to wireless converter like the 16F or depending on what flavor panel you have, if you have the 345, the C2W or the 2 gig take 345. If you guys have any questions about how to get your wired sensors over to an IQ2 Plus, any recommendations, if you guys have a system and you want monitoring, please contact us at support at alarmgear.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that little bell icon so that whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.